Indy Mogul. Oh, hey guys. Sorry, no normal episode this week for Backyard Effects. Wayside Creations is moving, so instead, I'm going to show you one of my favorite audition episodes, Bud Hazard and his Aliens Power Loader. Remember Aliens, that movie with the chest bursting part? That's <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Can't Leave a comment below, out. and uh, I'll see you next week with an awesome episode of Backyard Effects. It's so possibly dark in here. Hello everyone and welcome to the new season of Backyard FX, the show that teaches you how to do Hollywood style special effects with less than Hollywood style budgets. Way less. Much, much less. Almost nothing at all. You can probably do it for free sometimes. I'm your host, Eric Beck, and absolutely nothing has changed. Except that I'm not Eric Beck, I'm Bud Hassard. Eric is tied up right now. Not in my basement. Not chopped up in little pieces and fed to the pigs. No. He's fine. Elsewhere. For now. But for now, I'm going to show you how to build your very own Aliens Power Loader. Get away from her, you bitch! horror movies as much as I do, then you've no doubt seen the Alien movies. Alien, Aliens, Alien Cube, Alien Resurrection, Alien vs. Predator, Alien vs. Predator Part 2, Aliens vs. Aliens who fight aliens with guns made out of aliens by aliens who threw other aliens in the jail because of the guns they were carrying that were made out of aliens? I, I made that last one up. But the best movie in the series has to be one of the first two. And for me, one of the coolest fight scenes of all time had to be in Aliens, when Ripley jumped in the power loader and went to blows with the alien queen. <laughs> And as much as I wish I had a real power loader, there's really no way I could afford the insurance. Not with my driving record. Ah! So this week, I'm going to show you how to build your own. New driver's license required. But first, let's find out how much it's going to cost from the Claw of Doom. Fifteen feet of PVC pipe, one bag of flexible conduit, eight 45 degree PVC joints, four PVC T joints, an old backpack, one sheet of rigid foam insulation, lots of hot glue, some black and yellow latex paint, and all the styrofoam you can find. The secret to building a convincing power loader is to make it big without making it too heavy. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start looking around for lots of styrofoam. The bigger the pieces, the better, and the more interesting shapes will make a more interesting looking power loader. Take all the big chunks and lay them on the ground to make a big bulky backpack. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, only you get to decide what the final picture looks like. Next, flip all the pieces over and measure how big your power loader's back panel will be. Then cut a piece of rigid insulation the same size. Measure where your actor will fit so that the bottom of the back panel sits comfortably at her waist. And now, the roll cage. Carefully cut the PVC pipes and fit them together to make two matching sides. Then attach the two sides together with the two cross beams. Measure and cut holes through the back panel and attach the roll cage with extra PVC pipe. Cut four holes and pull your backpack shoulder straps through. It's time for hot glue. Using the low temperature setting, start gluing all the styrofoam pieces together onto the back panel. Cut holes in either side and slide a PVC pipe through for the shoulders. Now go back through your styrofoam stash and glue together more cool pieces to make arms and claws. Use leftover PVC pipe for the joints and handles. Now just paint and add conduit and any other details to make it awesome. I printed out a few labels like this and glued them on for added coolness.
I've never seen anything like it.